All right, welcome back. Now, hopefully at this point, you have seen the adding separate compact and expanded controllers. If you have not, I highly recommend that you do so because this particular lecture and the upcoming lectures are actually based on that. So we'll be building a brand new application. It is called RSVP Messages app. And the whole point or the whole story behind the app is last year I throw a birthday party for my birthday. Thank you, and thank you. You can send me mess, you can send me presents and all that stuff. So I throw the party and I was trying to see which one of my 50 friends are going to attend my birthday party. So I you know, start sending the text messages. And after 250 text messages, it took me like two hours to count that, okay, this guy is coming and this is not coming and this friend is coming and this is not coming. And it was not really a good experience. Actually, it was a pretty painful experience and that was the worst birthday ever. So I thought, you know, there has to be a way that I can simply send out a message in a bubble and then it will have a yes or a no. And if a person say yes, the message kind of, you know, it adds another message and the chain keeps on adding up. So this is exactly what we're going to do. Of course, we are going to do it really slowly so that you understand everything what's going on. All right, so let's see what we have right now. We have our messages view controller right over here. We have our compact view controller, which is the blue one and we have our create RSVP view controller. So if I run this, this blue compact view controller is going to display in the messages portion. So let's go ahead and check that out. Here we go. Load and here we go. So we have a button around it, really nice button. But when I click on the button, nothing really happens. What I really want to do is when I say create RSVP, I should go to this pink or purplish view, which is a create RSVP view controller. Now, if you have seen the last uh, lecture, which is the adding separate compact and expanded controllers, then you know how to do that. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. I'm gonna to go to my RSVP compact controller and I can see over here well, this is completely blank, so no matter how many times I click the button, it's not going to do anything. What I want to do is I want to notify my messages view controller that you need to create or send or present the expanded state, this guy. So, but how can I go from here and notify messages controller? Well, through the use of something really awesome, which is protocols. RSVP, uh, compact view controller, delegate. You can apply the delegate on a class. That's why I'm saying class. And now a function or a math, a function basically. RSVP, compact view controller. Um, you can say create RSVP. And that's pretty much it, right? Create RSVP. So now I need to declare a weak var over here for my delegate, weak var. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a delegate of type RSVP delegate. And over here, I can simply say self.delegate.rsvp delegate. Now, only thing remaining to do is to, when I'm injecting the compact view controller, I need to set the delegate to messages view controller. So let's go ahead and do that in the compact view controller. I can simply say controller.delegate equals to self. And also if I have to go up there and I have to say that, okay, I am actually using that. So it's called RSVP controller delegate. And there we go. So now, oh yeah, one final method I have to implement. Don't forget to implement the RSVP method. So here we go. Now, anytime I press on the button, which is this button over here, create RSVP, it's gonna fire the delegate and notify the messages view controller. 
And over here, I can simply say, uh, okay, request uh, the expanded state. Request expanded state is going to fire the uh, what is that? Risk transition to, which is in turn going to fire present view controller, passing in the presentation style, which in this case, in our case, is expanded, and you will see the actual page where you can create actual screen where you can create the RSVP message. Create RSVP and there we go. That is exactly what we wanted, right? Now I can type something over here and I can say press button and nothing really happens. That's not good. So let's go ahead and work on that. So let's go to the create RSVP view controller and you can see this is completely blank. Nothing really going on. And the same thing we can do it over here. We're going to create a protocol. Protocol create RSVP uh, view controller delegate this one. And then the function which will be over there will be create RSVP view controller did created RSVP and we have to pass in something, right? So I have already created a class which is called RSVP class. And if you look at the RSVP class, pretty simple. It has a title and the yes and no. That's all I'm interested in. How many people are coming? How many people said yes? And how many people said no? And that's literally what I'm really, really interested in. All right. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Week var. And we are going to say, what's the name? Oh, yeah, delegate and create RSVP delegate. And in the create RSVP press, the first thing I need to do is to actually create an RSVP, uh, assign something to its title. I think I have a text field which is RSVP text view dot text. The Yes and no are already initialized to zero for starters. And then I can say self.delegate dot create RSVP and pass in the RSVP over here. Now the messages view controller have no idea because it's not conforming to the delegate. So I'm just going to say create RSVP view controller delegate. I'm going to conform to that. All right. And inside the create RSVP, when I'm creating, I have to set the delegate to self, which meaning that my view controller is going to handle the delegate methods. And here is my delegate method passing in the RSVP. That's pretty cool, I think, right? So now I have access to the RSVP. What should I do? Well, most probably I should create a message. All right, let message equals to compose message. And I'm going to pass in the RSVP to the message. Now I don't have the compose message function. So let's go ahead and create that compose message. It's going to take RSVP, RSVP, and it's going to return me MS message. We did that. We did that in uh, our previous lectures. So if you don't know, I will suggest that you check out those previous lectures. All right. All right, here we go. So first let's create the components. NS URL components. Let's create the layout. Layout equals to MS template layout and then layout dot URL equals to components dot URL layout dot image equals to UI image. I do want, I mean, it's my birthday party, so I do want the image to be nice. So I have already downloaded some image, which is called party balloons. It looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna use that. So party balloons dot JPG. I also have this image. So if you are wondering what's going on over here, 
Oh, I don't think that has a URL property. I think that's the message which has a URL property. So let's create a message. Let message equals to ms message. All right, and I think now I can say message.url equals to components.url. All right, uh, the layout. That's an interesting thing, MS layout. Now, MS layout basically means if you can modify the bubble, the message bubble. Now, if you see over here, I actually took a screenshot of what things you can actually modify. So the background can be image, audio, or video, image title, image subtitle, trailing caption, trailing subcaption. So all of these things you can put, you have option of all of these things if you need those. All right, so what else we need? So we'll say layout dot caption equals to uh, yes count. Well, actually we should do it something like this, All uh, right? Uh, yes count, and what is the value? This is RSVP dot yes. Don't know what happened over there. Let's see if it compiles. All right, so we need to return it, return message. So that's the caption. So most probably it's gonna display right over here caption. And the trailing caption we can also set. So let's go ahead and set the trailing caption. So I'm gonna say layout dot trailing caption equals to no count and RSVP dot no. And, but where will the title will go. So maybe I messed it up. Well, image title, you can have some sort of image title that so we can put it image title. All right, let's see. Uh, layout dot image. No, doesn't have anything. Image title equals to RSVP dot title. Let's go ahead and build this. All right, so we got the message, but we are not really doing anything. So let's insert the message, active conversation dot insert message, pass in the message, pass in nil for completion handler. One thing we need to do inside the create RSVP is that it's, it's still in the expanded state. So we do want it to request the compact state so that we can actually see that what's going on. All right, so now let's run this and let's see what's going on. So here we go, we have our nice compact view. I'm gonna click on create RSVP, something in the text. Are you coming to my birthday party? I'm gonna say submit. And uh, well, it looks kind of like this for some reason. And we can send it out. So it's like nothing, nothing is being uh, passed in. All right, so this is a good way to, or a good place to start debugging as what is going on. Well, the first thing we can see that we have a message over here, but we never applied the, the layout to the message. So let's go ahead and do that. And that hopefully will fix our issues. Let's see. So here we go. We will see our create RSVP, I'll click on it. And I can type over here, are you coming to my birthday party? Submit. And wow, there you go. Of course, the text that we write is in white. So it's not being displayed correctly, but you can see over here it says, are you coming to my birthday party? Yes count is zero, no count is zero. Now you can go back and see John over here. Oh, are you coming to my birthday party? Yes, count is zero, no count is zero. And in the later tutorials, we are actually going to see that how John can say yes or no to the RSVP and send the message. And when Kate receives it, she is going to look at the hierarchy of the messages, basically the hierarchy of the conversation and the last one will reflect that if the John is coming or not. 
But stay tuned for that. I mean, that's a lot of work to do still, all right? Uh, and it's going to be really, really fun. And then, hey, you can use this app and use it to invite people to your birthday party. And hopefully more people will show up than mine, all right? So stay tuned. Thank you very much.